Alright, hello everyone, my name is Shep, welcome back to the Witcher Circus, and today I'm playing with a brand new team, so I've never played this, I've never seen this, I was just thinking, you know what, what if I bring Numbing Incense Gloria Standard on the Crusader, and I made a team around it, and you know, that's exactly what I'm doing. So I'm playing against Asian Command, it's the first time I'm seeing this person, looks like they have kind of an oppressive Vestal setup. It has the Vestal, it has the Hyoman, it has the Crusader, but it has a very weird Grave Robber in position too. So I guess I'm like a Shield Breaker, which would kind of annoy me here. It, it doesn't. So another idea that I went with this team is that I'm kind of going for the Veteran's Tortoise setup. So instead of having you know, uh, the usual Crusader, men at arms and then an Abomination or something, or having a Houndmaster here, I have the Grave Robber instead. So, all three characters are going to be very tanky, they're going to be very difficult to bring down, and the Grave Robber is just going to be outputting Panic Tower, so she's pretty much my only character capable of offense here. Like, he sucks with the Zealous, he sucks with the Bellows, she sucks with the Festering Vapors, they all freaking suck. The only one that can do jack anything is the Grave Robber, and that's exactly to what she's gonna try to do here, right? So yeah, I'm gonna go for the bolster anyway, even though I'm playing against the damage team. And let's be honest, I might get stunned here. It would be a bit unfortunate, but they have no accuracy on it, and I have 49 dodge, which actually isn't all that much. Uh, I thought I went second, but yeah, no, I went first, so uh, hopefully I don't get stunned anyway. Don't go for it! No! That's gonna slow my entire game plan down by one round. But it's okay, they go for the Crusader instead. Do they get the 60? They do. Yeah, I do have a bit more stun resistance with the Crusader now, so that can be very handy in some situations. It looks like this isn't one of them. They have a lot of stress heal over there. Uh, I guess... I guess he has minus stress taken as well. Let's go for the vessel instead. She's gonna be very... You know, she's gonna be very annoying with those heals. So let's go for that. Maybe I should neuter their offense, though. Like, maybe I should be going for these, but I kind of don't want to go into the repost or into 58. 58 dodge right now. Oh, look at that bolster value, though. <laughs> That's massive. Look at that freaking bolster value. Uh, I guess I might guard now for the prot, maybe. I'm gonna guard, but it's not even for the prot. Watch this. The reason I'm guarding is so they don't use Vendetta on my Grave Robber. They can't use the Vendetta on her anymore. They can use it on the Antiquarian, but they're not gonna get the debuff. I'm I'm lucky. I have 65% debuff of this, and it's not gonna work. How much stress is that? 20. With a crit, it's only 20 stress. Yeah, it's gonna take them forever. And keep in mind that I have stress healing here, and it's really good as well. So yeah, they are pretty much not gonna be able to break through. While I will keep spamming the hell out of these panic darts, and they don't have a way of clearing DOT. Now, neither do I, but I have a lot of DOT resistance as well. I mean, look at this. The Antiquarian, she's very good against Blights, I guess, but she's not really getting hit in the back right now. The Men at Arms has the Rancid Cure All, and the Crusader has the very nice uh, standard bleed resistance. They're already going for the stress heals, but you can't heal the damage. Oh, actually, they can. They can heal the damage, Shep. How are you gonna break through? They can heal the damage, you dumbass. They they, they have yeah, Idol Purity Silver Syringe. Do I think I can still break through? They might go virtuous even. Okay, this is this isn't gonna be as easy as I thought it would be, but uh, <laughs> let's see. I, I think I think none, neither of us is gonna break through. Oh my god, it's gonna be a stalling video. Yeah, this this is gonna be a full stalling video, huh? I don't think any of us can break through. I mean maybe they can with their <laughs> <laughs> they missed the vendetta. Oh my god, I did the freaking Simpsons laugh. What was that guy? The guy that went, ha ha ha. The, the, the bully. Yeah, I did that guy's laugh. That's crazy though. That's actually crazy that I did that. But yeah. I I don't know, because my rejuvenating vapors kind of stops almost all damage, but the panic darts kind of outpaces it by a little bit. Yeah, it does outpace it by a bit, and they can apply it 95% of the time, 100% of the time. So yeah, she's just gonna heal herself. Oh, this is so dumb. This is so freaking dumb. She's just gonna heal herself. Yeah, it's one of those days, isn't it? I, I, I don't even know. I don't even know. I guess I just need to keep trying, but he, he heals more stress than the stress I do. So how do I do this? Do I just have to bellow? I guess I might just have to start bellowing. They're gonna keep panic tossing me. That's uh, 15 stress. They're doing more stress than I am. That's crazy. That's crazy though, that's crazy. I guess the DOT will add up to the point that, I mean, they have to spend two turns countering one of mine, right? They have to spend two turns countering one of mine. I only have to spend one turn countering one of theirs. And I guess the Rejuvenating Vapors as well, but the Rejuvenating Vapors is also countering the Higher Man. So I guess all in all, this is still good for me. 
all in all, this still looks like it's uh, my game to win. I should have gone for the Bell first, probably. No, but I needed the region. They're going Duelist Advance again, just so they have the Repulse. I don't think the Repulse would help them all that much, even. If I go Zealous, like, all the damage just gets uh, removed, right? Yeah, even if I go Zealous, all the damage just gets removed because of the Repulse eventually. So I think I can generally just go Zealous in this situation after I, after I Command Buff. Either that or I start Belling, but I mean... Uh, it's kind of bad. Uh, it's not that bad though. Let's let's go Bello. Let's go Bello and the Crusader goes Stress Heal. Yeah, Bello and Stress Heal. This feels like uh, a bit better because th they can't kind of. They only have one Stress Healer here, and their characters aren't really set up against uh, against Stress as my characters are. So I think this is going to be kind of uh, disadvantageous for them slightly. Yeah, ever so slightly disadvantageous. So let's start going <laughs> for the Inspiring Christ uh, quite early, I must say, but. Yeah, the down to two stress again, and uh, I still have a lot of regen on there, so, you know, looking good. They have to keep healing themselves, and yeah, no, this is gonna take forever. <laughs> I wanted to make a qu well, I didn't want to make a quick video, but I wanted to make a... You know, I wanted to make a not super long video, because Panic Tarts was gonna break the stalemate, right? But it isn't. It is not breaking the stalemate. Panic Tarts is not doing what it's supposed to do, but Jesus. Okay, let's go for more. That oh, that could have been enough to bring her down to zero. That would have been awesome. I might go fast ring. No, I can't go fast ring vapors. One turn of not going regen, and my mana arms just like dies immediately. So let's not do that. We're gonna go PBS here, which is really just free for me. I don't really care. Ah, oh, moving back though. Moving back's a bit unfortunate, but. It should be okay. Yeah, I really don't care all that much because them spreading the damage just means that my rejuvenating vapors is getting extra value, so it's all good. Uh, one thing to note though is that my crusader only has 35 pro. Not having the pit fighter cell means that he's actually not as tanky as I usually have him. Usually I don't bring the numbing instance, I bring the pit fighter's helmet instead, which is great, but I mean, the numbing instance, oh, they're changing targets, that's a big misplay. I don't think they're gonna win now then. Yeah, now you're just giving me more value for the rejuvenating papers. Thank you, bro. I, I really appreciate it. I'm gonna go for more guards because I don't want them to stun my grave robber, obviously. The grave robber has to keep doing your thing. So yeah, we just keep guarding every other turn. It gives me protection too, I'm up to 80 protection now. Even though I have numbing instance and ran secure, all no protection trinkets. Between the Bulwark and the Defender, yeah, it's very difficult for them to break through. One more Panic Tarzan. Is it still 16? It is, it's still 16. One more Panic Tarzan, I think she actually drops to this door. Let's be honest, she's gonna be virtuous. If I get her afflicted, she's gonna go virtuous, but I'll, I'll kill her through the virtue if, if need be. Yeah, he can't do anything. Look at him, look at him. What does he do? Does he go for the 10% stun chance or the 10% stun chance? Or does he heal 33 stress? He doesn't even need to heal 33 stress. Oh, he goes for the normal heal, you bastard. No, and he crit heals himself. Seven! What does he crit heal himself for seven? Oh my god. So, okay. So, crit healing heals stress, but I thought it was the game healing stress on you. It's the characters that heal themselves for stress. So he should have healed for three there, but he healed for freaking seven. That's actually nuts. I had no idea. Well, that's cool to know, I suppose. Yeah, that, that's cool to know. She's, uh, yeah, she's not quite afflicted yet, but <laughs> nor at this door, but 20 blight! 20 blight on her! Just from the panic tars, she's gonna go down eventually. I swear it. By the old gods and the new. They're gonna go for more duels advance, but yeah, watch this. I'm gonna press the retrieve button. And because they're kind of spreading the stress around too, and because the crusader takes like zero stress. I mean, he has minus 65% stress taken right now. That's zero stress, man. That's zero stress. Yeah, because of that, I can I could even just go standard heal on both of them, like just go rally to the flame and then give myself a bit more HP if need be. Yeah, like he has 15 regen on him right now. Do you understand how crazy 15 regen is? That's a lot of regen. That's a lot of regen that we got going. So yeah, keep spamming more bellows. Slowly stress them out. Crusader's probably gonna go for uh, another one. Yeah, there he goes. Uh, he might just stop eventually to to have the virtue chance but i feel like he just heals so much stress because of the brass bugle that he can't even stop if, if that makes sense i don't know if that makes too much sense but yeah it's difficult for him to oh that's actually a bit of damage uh, i should be able to counter it though even with rally to the flame for maybe yeah he, he's not gonna get the virtue chance basically because he's just healing too much stress oh god the, the blight has gone away ah oh, it's okay it's okay ship. It's okay, let's do this. 
I just yeah. I I don't know who who's who's in a stalemate here. I don't know if it's me or if it's them. <laughs> because we're kind of stalemating each other. This is such a stupid damage team, though. Who brings a damage team with glorious standard brass veal crusader and the grave of root panic darts? Like th this doesn't feel real. This feels like this match was made up. Yeah, it genuinely feels like this match was made up. It, it is not. I, I met this person in the ladder. I don't know why they're doing this. I don't know why they're doing this. I don't know why I'm doing this. But you know, we both are. I might eventually have to change the guard to the crusader or something. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, more inspiring cries. Like, I'm never gonna get a, a resolve check on her. I'm never gonna get a resolve check on her. How do I win? I guess I need to keep bellowing or something. I don't even know anymore. Uh, let's click here. If she goes for a stun on me, though. Uh, if she goes for a stun on me, she can't heal herself, but uh, she won't need to because she's stunning me. Does that make sense? Yeah, she won't need to heal herself because she's stunning me, so it doesn't doesn't compute. Unless I use the the toxin trickery now while guarded, you know, if I use the toxin trickery now and then let go of the guard and then just start pressing bell every turn, that's an idea. That's an idea as well. I could also go festering vapors, but I think going festering vapors would be so troll. Yeah, just generally bad. Let's go for the heal here. I need to give myself some HP. <laughs> I need it. I need HP. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the freaking panic darts are just ever so slightly outfacing me. And yeah, they, they have to keep healing themselves. It, it's so crazy. It's so crazy. Oh my god. Okay, let's go for more panic darts, I, I guess. Let's keep dropping them. How, when, when am I going to get a crit, though? Like, a crit would be really nice here. This is so stupid. This is so stupid. If this goes to round 40, who wins? Okay, I'm going for round 40 calculations already because of how... Oh, my regen is gone, uh, because of how uncanny this setup is. So let's see, 34 HP in the back, so they win by 3. 30, 30, tie. 36 to 43, I win by 7. So they were winning by 3, now I'm winning by 7, so I have 4 HP more. And, uh... 4 HP more, wait, what? I messed up the math. Oh no, yeah, 4 HP more and then the Crusaders. Okay, so if we're both at full HP, I win by 4 HP. So yeah, I, at round 40, if you didn't know, uh, or rather, at start of round 41, when the players get to... Uh, when the players would act, it's a stalemate, and the crowd decides. The way it works is, whoever has more max HP wins, and if max HP isn't a factor, because they both have the same max HP, then it's the stress, we're pretty sure. No one actually knows exactly how it works, but I'm pretty sure it's that way. I'm pretty sure it's the max HP. Even if you think you're gonna win, if you have less max HP than your opponent, then you're gonna lose, sadly. Yeah, I have to keep healing, actually. I have to keep healing. Come on, crit heal yourself. Now! Uh, this looks a bit dicey. Yeah, the, their Panic Tarts is a bit stronger than mine, it feels. Because they, they, they heal themselves for freaking 19 each turn, I heal myself for 6! Plus the regen, right? Yeah, I'm gonna have to change guards here soon. But first, another regen. Yeah, I'm gonna have to change guards. Uh, then, uh, the thing is, they should be going for my mana arms, because if they don't kill the mana arms, then they're never gonna kill anyone, because I just press defender on whoever they're pressuring too much, right? You know, so they should be going for the mana arms, obviously. But uh, the problem is that if it goes too hard on the mana arms, can I still survive just with the heals? I think I should be able to. Heals and regen should be enough, and prot. Yeah, it should be enough, but I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Okay, so yeah, this turn we're gonna do it. We're gonna go for the Toxin Trick. We're gonna prepare, basically. We're gonna prepare for the moment of discovery, where the Grave Robber shall be revealed to the world, as she will present herself <laughs> as a stun level target. So yeah, we'll see how that one goes. I might just change the guards now. Okay, let's change the guards. And uh, they can stun me if they want to. Yeah, go ahead, stun me. Do what you want. Do it you want. I have 64 dodge. Good luck, I am I dare say. As you have a 36% hit chance on her with the stunning, with the dazzling light. And if you miss it, those panic cards are gonna add up real bad. So I don't think my opponent's gonna do it even. But there's really nothing else they can do. They can just keep healing themselves, but now they can't break through my crusader anymore. Yeah, we're just gonna go in this back and forth, I suppose. Let's just keep on... Keep on keeping on. They have to heal someone else here because the Crusader can't do anything. <laughs> no, the Crusader can't do anything. I can zealous, but I'm just gonna miss. Um, I'm gonna stress heal myself. I'm a bit high. 
I, yeah, I'm a bit high, though. Too much stress. Yeah, let's stress heal myself. No point going for heals, by the way. The region's just gonna heal it all up in a bit. So, yeah. With the region healing it all up. And now it's gonna take years for that Grave Robber to actually do anything to, to any of us. If they go for my anti coin, I might roll for the Virtue Chance, but... Nah, that would be silly. But if I get a Virtue, though, it would be amazing. I'd be greedy. Yeah, see, they're still going for the Divine Grace. Oh my god, let's spend time health far back. Okay, give me a crit, please. Can I please get a crit once? No. I, I seriously have not gotten crit panic darts in 8 turns, I don't think. I don't think I've gotten a single crit panic darts. It's a 21.5% chance, for goodness sake. It's a lot. It's a lot of crit chance on it. So who are they going for now? Oh, they're gonna focus the Grave Robber down. And they miss. <laughs> <laughs> Still can't believe they went for the Vendetta on my anti coin and just missed her. Yeah, that was hilarious. Okay, let's go for the Rejuvenating Vapors then. And uh, yeah, you you just have to focus the Man at Arms down. If you don't, if you don't focus the Man at Arms down, I'll just guard whoever has too much pressure. And then all the regen is going to sort out the Blight that they did anyway. And Crusader will sort out the stress, so... They have to go for the Mender Arms, but to go for the Mender Arms, you have to deal with his Numbing Instance and his Rot and his Rancid Cure Ult. Though, let's be honest, Rancid Cure Ult doesn't matter against Panic Tarts. They're gonna go Toxin Trickery themselves. Oh my god. Round 9 Toxin Trickery. I mean, I did the Round 8 Toxin Trickery, so I guess I guess that's fair. Uh, this actually. No, no, I, I, I still have too much duty on me. Yeah, I can I can get screwed over here. Even with 65 prot, I might get screwed over. Keep in mind, this is parrying dagger vendetta higher man. He looks a bit stupid. He looks a bit weak, but he's not. He's not that weak. So don't be full champ. Let's keep going for bellows. If I keep spamming bellow and I keep hitting and I keep spamming panic darts, I actually outpace the crusader because uh, he heals for 45, but I do like like 70 strength if I hit everything on both sides. See, I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna try and do. Oh my god, I don't want to heal. I don't want to do anything with my Crusader. I guess I could Zealous, but. I mean, there's no way they bring me to that store immediately, right? No, no, no way. They even have a Bell Debuff on them. Yeah, let's go for it. Ah, of course they get a crit. Why wouldn't they? Oh yeah, that's some decent stress being dealt. It doesn't really matter anyway, because they don't have... Well, they do have two ways of breaking the guard, but I mean, it's very unlikely that they get them. Very, very unlikely. I'm gonna drop more regen, and even then they'd have to stun him, and then stun the Crusader to maybe get a kill. How would even that? That's just not, not gonna happen. But yeah, the first time I walk into the repulse, by the way, it's a crit. It's it's un uncanny how, how the Witcher Circus works. First time you actually decide to hit into the repulse, it immediately crits you. Because there is no justice in this world, and you should have known that already, Shepherd of Doggies. Yeah, I could go for the Crusader here. Oh, I could go really hard on the Crusader, actually. Yeah. But no, let's keep annoying her. Oh, the final crit! I finally get it! 38 stress, look at that. Yeah, she has to heal herself again. <laughs> what decisions in my life have led me to this point? I am playing Butcher Circus, a free DLC for the Darkest Dungeon game. Four years, almost four years after its release, the birthday is coming up soon. And I am playing a team with Crusader Men at Arms, Grave Robber, and Antiquarian. None of which are my favorite characters. My favorite characters are Abomination, Doggy, and Flatland. And I'm playing it against Asian Command, a person I have never seen who is darkest rank, who has the weirdest of teams. Yeah, it really is one of those days, isn't it? It is. So yeah, let's keep going for guards and let's see if we win this. It's it's gonna it's gonna go to 40 rounds. Like it, it, it's not because I'm very slowly winning. I am very very excruciatingly slowly winning this match because the Crusader can't stress heal as much as I can output stress. So I slowly gently, this is how I'm gonna afflict all of them. But they might go virtuous. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know. They might go virtuous, which would be a bit rough, but. Again, what do I do? I don't want to go zealous this time for sure, because, you know, I'm going to be... I don't want to drop to this store. Dropping to this store isn't cool. It has some associated debuffs, which usually don't matter all that much, but in a match where stress kind of matters, you know, it could make a difference. Oh my god. Oh, I just... I just... Uh, I might do this. <laughs> I guess I healed five stress with my crusader turn. <laughs> Oh, it's so pointless. What is he doing? Okay, but their DOT is finally going away. Yeah, at last, he, he stress heals himself in position 3 now. Uh, oh, they don't have infinite shadow fades. Uh, also, they don't have pick. So the Grave Robber might not be able to, you know, do everything she wants. 
I'm gonna keep the extra dodge here for a minute, so I'm, I'm gonna use my Grave Robber last if possible, just so she has a 74 dodge, so she doesn't get hit by duelist advances and all that. Oh my god, look at her reach and 15. That's crazy. A <laughs> nice duelist advance, bro. <laughs> Freaking 4 damage! <laughs> and I reach and for 12. <laughs> oh my god, the highwayman. Oh, what a poor guy. Seriously. He does 4 damage and I reach and for 12. Oh my god, yeah. Oh, like, this is just perfect, you know, because they don't have puncture, they only have one DOT move, they don't have good stunts, like, in a way, this is perfect, right? In a way, this is exactly perfect, because their Highwayman is pretty much a non-character at this point. Okay, here we go, they're gonna go for the, they're going for the Panic Darts now, so it begins. It finally begins. Yeah, let's start going for the stress heals. Even more. <laughs> oh no, 20 stress, I must get rid of it. Yeah, soon enough the Crusader will be back up to full HP and I can start going zealous again. Yeah, soon-ish, soon-ish I can start doing that. Oh my god. He, that was a crit for 4, wasn't it? Yeah, not a normal hit, that was a crit, that was a max roll. He probably could have done like 2 damage or something. Yeah, 2 freaking damage. Well, let's keep going panic darts on her. That's 12, 12 dots, it's adding up, it's adding up. 77 stress too, they have to, they have to clear it. But I mean, can I really afflict someone? I guess, maybe. Maybe I can afflict someone because I'm just gonna keep doing this, right? Over and over again, and look, she's already back up to 70, they have to stress heal her. But they're not doing anything about this Grave Robber and this, and this higher man, so... I'm going to press Guard again, I'm going to press Rejuvenating Vapors, and I'm gonna go hard. Yeah, and I got another crit there, so that means 74 dodge, which is really nice. Are they gonna go for the Antiquarian? At last. They shouldn't. They should just keep going on the men at arms. Like they, they can maybe, maybe win because they do more DOT than I than I heal, kind of. And uh, you know, they could be using their normal moves. Oh sh oh shit, they're gonna go for a big lunch. Okay, that's scary though. Uh they are bellow debuffed. And I do have you know, I do have the guard on all that, but yeah, they're going for the big lunch, it seems. You know what I'm gonna do here, actually? I'm gonna click the Man at Arms first and go for the guard so I don't waste too much regen. And now I'm gonna press the Rejuvenating Vapors. Yes, yeah, so this means that I basically just save myself like 3 HP. Which I might need. Yeah, I might I might need if they go for Panic Tarts instead of lunch and all that. So yeah, they're gonna go... <laughs> Oi! Oi! That's not nice! How's my Grave Robber in 3? God damn it. It's so annoying how, how PBS just, you know, does its thing. I generally dislike it, but okay. Let's go rejuvenating vapors. Oh, I, I hate PBS in these situations because it's so slowly like repositioning your team. It's already a damage move, and it very slowly repositions your team. It's like, oh my god, all my characters are shuffled where they shouldn't be. Crusader going in two, Grave Robber in two. Like they shouldn't be here. What are they doing here? I'm gonna go sell this. Oh, it's gonna miss. No, it doesn't. Three damage repost. <laughs> Look at the stress though. Look at the stress. Oh, it's setting up so hot, so high. Okay, they have to heal themselves here, or else their vessel's screwed. Oh, there goes my pressure. Mm, I'm scared of her. Yeah, I am a bit scared of her. Let's go rejuvenating vapors. And oh, I want to keep the guard turn just in case she does something crazy, like lunging my Grave Robber or something. That would be ideal. See, so yeah, let's keep the guard turn, let's keep the Crusader turn. I'm not gonna go Shadow Fate because then they can stun my Antiquarian. That would truly be horrendous. Yeah, thankfully Vessel doesn't reach 4 with her stunts. Can you imagine that? Jesus. Oh, she can go Illumination though! That's, that's totally gonna matter! Oh, they're gonna go Panic Tarts on her maybe then. Ah, oh, that's it's just... it's pointless. I have Tears of the Lost, even. It is pointless. How did, he even, how did they even get the debuff, though? They don't have the Tome of Fury. And I have 65 debuff resistance. There is no justice in this world. Absolutely no justice. But yeah, I'm thinking of just moving forward here. As crazy as that sounds. Let's see. The guard doesn't have to go. All right, let's just bellow. Oh, it, she dodges. Yeah, to be expected, kind of. Less damage to them, though. I might... I th I'm thinking of moving back with her. That's stupid. Just go for more more panic darts, just, yeah, so she has to heal herself. Let's use the Grave Robber turn now, so I can still use my Crusader to heal. I get to go first, so that's good with the regen. If if it's needed, which probably won't, but maybe. 
maybe it shall be needed. The higher man is gonna go on my grave robber, he hits for 10, so I'm just gonna heal that. I don't wanna drop to this door. I mean, with a crit launch, they probably drop me, but they have a damage debuff, and I have 20 prot. So yeah, it shouldn't be enough. No, they're gonna go Panic Towers on the Antiquarian. And, uh, that's gonna be an ouchie. Yeah, that's a pretty big ouchie. It's fine, though. Yeah, it's overall fine, honestly. It's overall fine. Oh, she's dropping to zero. This could be massive. Yeah, this could actually be massive. Look at this. She's dropping to zero now, so the Crusader has to heal her normally. But if he heals her normally, then... He won't... Uh, oh, he sees it. He sees it. Yeah, she's gonna drop to zero. That means she's gonna have this store recovery, which is really bad in a situation like this, because it's plus 10% stress taken. And plus 10% doesn't look like much, but it is. Plus 10% stress taken is a lot, as a matter of fact. So yeah, let's do this before they, you know, drop another huge one on me. And uh, then I'm just... Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm gonna move forward. Screw it. I don't like having the grave over too. It just looks bad. Looks abysmal, even. And uh, they're gonna... They're gonna ma basically put my men at arms in four, even with their PBS. Oh my god. Okay, here comes more of those. I'm gonna have to guard eventually, but in the meantime, just do this. It's so annoying. It's so annoying the PBS disruption. They don't even have the dual special, but it, it just likes to push. And it's crazy because it pushes against the move chances. I, I don't know how it does it. Okay, then, then now it doesn't do it because I was because I was looking at it, but <laughs> you know how it works, right? <laughs> you know how it works. She actually takes a lot of stress, even with Tears of the Lost. Yeah. I'm gonna have to guard that real soon, huh? Yeah, she doesn't actually take a lot of stress, but it's okay. So they heal themselves here, but... Yeah, now they have plus stress taken. So now they're taking 32, rather than the... Well, what was it? 27 they were taking before? No, they are taking 29. Yeah, because I have the Satchel, the Satchel kind of counters the Idol of Purity a little bit. So they're still dropping to zero. That's actually huge. They, they slowed down too much. What did they do? They went for one illumination, that was just too slow. Why are they changing targets again? Haven't, haven't they realized that's advantageous for me? <laughs> haven't, haven't they realized that they need to focus the men arms down? Like, come on, it's been 15 turns of this. It's been 15 turns. You're finally gonna get an affliction sometime soon, I think. Oh, Jesus. Of course that's happening now. Oh, that's a lot of minus HP that I've got. Hmm. Uh. I'm gonna go up to... I'm still gonna go up to a good amount of HP, yeah. I don't really need to guard anyone, even. I'm just gonna bellow. I'm about to bellow! Ah! And yeah, 89 stress, not bad. Crusader is at 60. No way I sell us into it. Not with 35 prot. Yeah, Tarman's still a bit scary. Like, I know he's doing 4s every, every now and then, but at the same time, if I don't have 80 prot, he's gonna hurt. Yeah, he's still gonna hurt. So they go for another stress heal, but yeah, they're still gonna be in a rough spot. I'm gonna go and stress heal her, because she just has a bit too much right now. Then we take it from there. We shall take it from there. Another vessel to store. She's gonna heal herself again. But she's kind of just dropping every round, though, isn't she? Yeah, because now I'm gonna hit her again. Guess what's gonna happen after I hit her again? <laughs> Great 24! Ah! That's a lot. That's a lot. Hopefully you get something like that on, on one of them. Uh, but yeah, 81 stress. Oh, they're having to stress heal every turn, but uh, she, she's gonna go for it. She was pretty much guaranteed. I mean, look at that, plus 60. They're gonna go for it again. They're gonna get even more. The Virtue Chance lasts for 5 turns, by the way. Ow! Ow! Crap, they can lunge me. Okay. The precautions must be taken. I have to go for the guards. Yeah, they can launch me and drop, drop me to this store. That wouldn't be nice, so I have to do this. This is actually hurting. Freaking Hireman things. So yeah, now they're gonna go... Ah! Can you not? Can you not, is my question. I'm gonna use her turn first to go regen, and then I'm gonna go for the Inspiring Cry. Yeah, let's do it this way. The DOT they're doing, though. Pressing regen every turn. But I'm winning. I'm winning. Like, it's it's... It's gonna. I, I'm not gonna finish the match before round 40. Like, let's be honest. Look at look at the pressure we've caused, right? It's been 16 rounds. I haven't gotten one affliction. 16 rounds, zero afflictions. Am I gonna win this through stress? No, I'm not. Either my opponent surrenders, or I mean, maybe their team starts crumbling after the first affliction, which won't be an affliction, by the way. It's gonna be a virtue. Like, she's gonna heal herself now. I'm gonna go panic darts on her, and she's gonna go virtuous. I, I'm telling you. Do I even do I even attempt it? Because she's just gonna go virtuous and oh she she's down to thirty. Okay, it's time. This is the only opportunity I have to to maybe get an affliction. 
Okay, let's go for it then. She's still dropping to this door, which is fantastic. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Oh, never have I been so satisfied by an affliction. Yeah, just a single affliction at round 17. Isn't this the slowest stress team you've ever seen? Not even the Mortal Musketeer would take this long. Not even the Mortal Musketeer. They're going to lose advance on the yeah, They're just missing. <laughs> Yeah, they're just missing. Oh, they're gonna do it again, though. They're gonna push my men arms back. Ah, oh, I hate it. Okay, let's go rejuve. Yeah. Let's go rejuve. I'm, I am I want to change the guards again, but it's a bit uh, it's a bit tricky with this higher man going freaking PBS. Unless I move as well. Unless I move forward now and then guard the uh, Eddie Grand or something. But then he moves me back again. Ah, it's so annoying. Genuinely. Okay, panic darts on the men at arms now. Why? You are finally outputting some, I guess, some good pressure. I mean, I do have an extra 8 regen on there, but I don't know. I don't get it. It's time to b b b b bellow. Let's do it. Yeah. One affliction already. What's that Crusader gonna do? You failed your job, Crusader. There's no, no virtues on your side. They can clear the virtue, though. I wonder if they're gonna do it. I feel like they should. I feel like they should have prevented that virtue, like, at all costs. I mean, prevented that resolve check at all costs. Because now that they have an affliction, the Hopeless can do a pass. And as you've seen, if she passes one turn, she's, she's dead, basically. So they, they have no time to be passing here. Absolutely no time. So we'll, we'll see what happens. I'm thinking of actually just going for a standard heal. And uh, the reason I'm going for a standard heal here is so I buy myself time to actually go zealous. I want to go zealous sooner rather than later. Yeah, so if, if the hopeless passes right now, it's pretty much just GG. Or hits herself. <laughs> she moves back, okay. Sure. How much DOT still? Ah, oh, down to 12. Oh, I can't kill her anymore. Though at the same time, if hopeless does absolutely nothing, it's just... I don't know, I guess it doesn't matter anyway. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. But I win on HP by like 4, if I remember correctly. <laughs> yeah, by like 4 HP, but I need to be up. I need to put myself at that amount of HP. So when you see like immortal setups or immortal setups, what happens is at round 40 they they just press the big moves. They press the redeem buttons, they press the big heals, they transform rage someone to bring them down to zero, just to try everything to get that extra little bit of HP. Uh, extra little bit of HP edge of your opponent. And let's be honest, how many of you that actually play Butcher Circus have been in that situation or how many of you that watch butcher circus have seen that round 40 situation it's so incredibly rare but the fact that it happens i love it it's butcher circus isn't it it's just itty what itty and it's awesome it's just the way the butcher circus works yeah that's how mafia works basically okay let's move forward because i hate it I don't want to get stunned with my Grave Robber by that uh, Crusade, it wouldn't be too nice. I mean, he's not going to do it, but then I, I, I still don't want to be in position to. That just means that then the Crusader goes back and, you know, it just gets worse, blah blah blah. So yeah, here we're just going to stress heal ourselves. And, um, so yeah, down some stress. I mean, I was never going to go afflicted anyway. <laughs> Minus 65. <laughs> It's so good. Oh, when he stress heals himself, he actually loses one of the turns of Virtue Chance. Okay, that's good to know. I'm going to immediately panic darts. Yeah, immediately panic darts. Then I think they, I think they realize that. I think they realize that they all they have to do is just go on my, go on my men at arms. Yeah, I think they've noticed. All they have to do is just keep attacking my men at arms because he's tanky, but he's not that incredibly tanky. She, yeah, she has no act outs. She has no act outs, that's not buying me anything. Not buying me any time, nothing's happening. Let's go for this. I heal 33 stress, they do... Well, they do a lot less, obviously. They do, what, 15? Yeah, they do 15 stress, but maybe they get crits with their other abilities. I think this is why Salak runs Grapeshot Blast on this Iron Man. Yeah, I think it is. I like Open Vein as well. Open Vein here would be really huge because with the Parrying Dagger you'd still get bleeds on the Men at Arms. So between Open Vein and having the... What do you call it? Having uh, having the Panic Tars and between the Panic Tars and Open Vein you'd probably find a way to break through the Men at Arms. That's why in the Veteran Sorta setup you have a, a doggy instead of a Houndmaster. Uh, what? No, be, uh, that's why you have a doggy instead of a Grave Robber. So you can change the guards onto the men-at-arms, and you know, if you have two, two guys guarding you, it's so annoying. It's so incredibly annoying to break through. 
That's kind of the, the idea here. I'm thinking of going guard because I'm gonna lose it. Yeah, I'm gonna lose it. I, I need to keep my Crusader turn as well. I need to go for those trans heals and all that, but <laughs> he's gonna push me back again, the bastard. <laughs> Yeah, he's gonna push me back again. Oh, she says no! She says no! Okay, that's what I need. I I, th I think that's the win condition now. Hopeless saying no to the inspiring cries. Yeah, that's probably the win condition. I mean, he just goes on someone else, so... Doesn't really change all that much, but... Yeah, let's keep doing this. Hopeless can say no to the inspiring cries, and she can pass as well, or hit herself. So, we're gonna pray that's, uh, that's what happens. Yeah, I'm gonna go first. Come on. That's a move forward. That doesn't really do anything. Okay, it's fine though, it's fine. <sighs> she just heals for more than I do dot. Like, there was a point where she was dropping every round, but now uh, it's like 12 dot and hit 28 HP. It just doesn't compute. It does not compute. Let's click the reach of button again. I need the HP. It's gonna hurt though. It's hurting. It's hurting my mana arms. I have to use my turns to heal, but I also have to use my turns to inspire and cry. I kind of have to do both. Let's see, that's 8 damage, don't push me. Ah! Oh, stop pushing me! Shep, it doesn't matter, Shep, it doesn't matter. But look, next time he does it, Mighty Coin is gonna be in 3 and then they're gonna stun me. She can't stun you, Shep! She has to heal herself, you bozo. Yeah, maybe it doesn't matter. In the end, nothing matters. Yeah, let's go, let's go, Bello. Now, in the end, them failing that Vendetta is gonna matter, I guess. Maybe potential. It's round 20. Halfway. Halfway through the video, ladies and gents. Halfway through the video. Maybe. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, you can't. Oh! 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 The 5%er! The 5%er! It actually worked! No shot. That actually worked. Damn, that's great. Okay. Stress heal. That's awesome. I got the 5% resistance. That's crazy. That's why you bring Satchel and not Leather Band Julia, like, especially on this team. Leather Band Julia is crazy. On on a team like this where you have no accuracy buffs, like no command, no battle ballads, all you have is just the monkey spawn and the dream, right? Because you're gonna miss that panic darts. I'm surprised you haven't missed it once. They haven't had a guaranteed ch hit chance on the panic darts in the all game. All game, zero guaranteed hit chance on the panic darts. They haven't missed once. But they finally got that I finally got that five percent resistance because of the rank secure all. And you know what? It's huge. <laughs> it's actually huge. I need it. I really need it, man. <laughs> I really need it. Yeah, hopeless is minus five accuracy too. They have test star copy here, so they have like ninety uh, come on, another one. Uh, okay, not that lucky. Yeah, they have 93 accuracy, and I have 64 dodge. Yeah, they won't hit. There is not a world in which they hit. Is there a world in which I just bellow and stop guarding? Yeah, no point guarding, right? If I'm in 3, then he can't hit me with the Wicked Slice or the PBS, so I don't take more damage. Hmm, wise, Shepard Doggy, wise. Yes, he, he, all you can hit me with is Duelist Advance, which hits me for 3. Which is annoying, but, you know, it's fine. Well, let's go for more Panic Darts, as you do. Uh, have you thought about changing targets, Shepherd Doggy? Oh, uh, I have, but I think this is best. Yeah, like, we're slowly breaking through. I think before round 40, we're gonna have a heart attack on the, on the Vestal. Yeah, I believe we will. I believe we will have a heart attack on her before round 40 comes. So that's what we're gonna try and do. 8. I can heal 6 to 9 on my... Ooh, nice. I can heal 6 to 9 with my Crusader. Uh, and they can do some okay-ish damage. Yeah, 6 to 9, I can crit those. I can crit those heals as well. For a lot more. Hopefully. Yeah, they, they finally noticed what the way through is. And they're doing everything they can to get it. So yeah. All I have to do is keep pressuring them, and all they have to do is keep pressuring me. But we're finally playing the match, like 20 rounds in, my opponent knows what the best move is, which is just to dogpile my mana arms. They knew it at the start, they started going for my mana arms, but then they changed targets to the Crusader, and it was the Crusader for ages, then they changed to the Grave Robber again, then the Crusader a bit, and now they're finally at the mana arms. And, uh, you know, they're doing they're doing what's right for them, that is. So yeah, let's do this. I'm gonna have to choose, though, between stress heal and just normal heal, and I'm losing HP. I'm losing HP. It's slow, but I am. I am losing HP. And let's be honest, if we go to round 40 and I'm down the hero, I lose the match. Like, I do not want to lose this freaking match. 
I would be a disgrace if I somehow managed to lose this match. Also, look at this. Now the Grave Robber is in one because he pushed my glorious standard crusade. I'm actually going to lose this match. I'm actually going to lose this match. I'm seeing it. Like, I see my defeat in the way. On the way. Okay, let's not. Let's not lose this freaking match. I could move to one with the... With the man at arms. I could start Zealousing. I'm gonna go Zealous. It's gonna be an affliction on the high man. I think getting the high man afflicted could be huge. Oh, he dodges! Asshole. He actually gets the dodge. Did he crit the repulse? By the way, he did. Oh, you bastard. He gets the dodge and crits the repulse. It's uncanny. It's so uncanny. Okay, but they go Inspire and Cry on him so the Crusader can go afflicted here. That's what I need. I need to get an affliction on their crusade because I actually see the loss. I see the loss in front of me. I genuinely see the loss. I can see it already. Like, we keep doing this. Uh, they just manage to save her because they heal again and again. And, like, it doesn't matter. And uh, my mana arms just dies in a couple of rounds because they can outpace my healing uh, with uh, with Panic Tarsum with her direct damage. So, yeah, this team is not very good. Like, this team is not very good at all. It really needs that Houndmaster to make uh, to make work. Like, the Grave Robber is bad here. But, you know, it's all we have, it's all we we're learning with, and uh, it's what we're gonna play. I guess I can go pick. It went fearful. Oh, that's past chance. Oh, that's massive. Massive past chance there. Okay. More rejuvenating vapors. I guess I could move forward, but no, no, no. Don't move forward. You're gonna PBS you. That would be a disaster. Maybe I pick. Nah, no world in which I pick. Come on. I'm just gonna Shadow Fade and go for huge panic darts. Something of the likes. Oh. oh, they failed the blights again! Oh, that's huge! Okay, they're dropping to this door. Nice. I could move forward. No, Shep, don't do it. Don't move forward. No, Shep, no! Okay, we don't move forward. We bellow. I could move back! <laughs> I could move back just to stay safe from the freaking highwayman. I guess. I guess I could move back eventually. I have to go for the chest seals now. Yeah, it's still gonna take them a while. This door, no act outs. They're gonna find Grace. Ah! So there's another HP back. Lovely. How much? 8 to 13. Nah, it's pointless. Let's go for this. I can do a big pick to bring them to this store, though. Like, that's a possibility here. He does some stress. All oh, the stress act outs, though. That's huge. That's huge, actually. That's huge. <laughs> They're gonna go inspire and cry. Also, one thing that I find really odd. And I, this is completely off topic, almost completely off topic, but I saw how the Crusader there did 6, 6, 7. So the reason that happened was because 6 is the base act out. They don't have more stress they can, or minus stress they can. He doesn't have a stress dealt trinket, right? So, and she, oh, she has, she has plus stress they can. Wait, I have to act before I lose my train of thought. But yeah. Now let's see the action. So, the thing that I don't, another thing I don't like about the, the base game is that. In the base game, instead of having plus 10% stress taken, you have plus 10% stress. Not plus 10% stress taken, just 10% stress. And then you have plus stress relief. So you don't have a stress taken, you have plus stress. Which feels odd to me, because I'm used to the Butcher's Circus, right? So it feels incredibly odd seeing that just plus stress there. Not plus stress taken, just plus stress. It's really weird. That's a that's a, a heart attack, by the way. But it's not enough to kill her. Next one could be, though. Next one could be enough to kill her, actually. If, uh, if we get somehow lucky. She's gonna have heart attack recovery now, though. So that's gonna be a bit difficult. That's... That's a win. That's a win if I've ever seen one. But yeah, having these trinkets that give you plus 10% stress feels so weird. Because is it stress taken or is it stress dealt? I know stress dealt doesn't exist, but that 10% stress, does it does it impact the act outs? The, because stress dealt does. Stress dealt impacts the act outs. But that trinket that says plus 10% stress, nothing else. If your character barks, is he doing more stress to the other characters? Probably not. Right? Probably not. It's probably stress taken, but it should be it should be said if it's stress taken or stress dealt. Or if it's like stress taken and stress dealt, or just stress taken, but it's not implied in the base game. And I it's a very small thing, right? But it it has bugged me for for a very long time and I've just now gotten to, to actually speak of it. So yeah. Th there you go. That's my podcast. <laughs> That's my podcast over. Yeah, it it just it it just is odd to me. 
I guess it's it's stupid of me to say that because there was no stress dealt. You know, you don't do stress to the to the enemy uh, monsters, right? You don't do stress to the monsters. You you just take stress. You can't do stress. That's weird. That's also weird to me that you can't stress the monsters out because some of them are human, right? Some of them are like very much human. So it it feels weird to me that you can't do it. But you know, I don't think I'm just I'm just circusing right now. I'm I'm just circusing. Yeah, that's my state of mind. Also, I'm very low on HP. I'm down to 11. They have more DOT than I have than I have regen. So yeah, this is gonna be bad, but now we're gonna stack Panic Towers on that Crusader. I think they kind of messed up. But then again, what could Evasion Command done, really? What could have he done that, that would be different to kind of just save this match? Because she said no to a couple of Inspiring Cries, I remember. And with all the Inspiring Cries they were dropping, you know, I was dropping Bells as well, so they had to clear those elsewhere. It's just been rough. It's been rough for them. I'm gonna go for a heal here first, so let's just do that. But yeah, the I, they don't no longer have those like massive divine divine grace heals, so they no longer have a way of actually keeping their characters out of their store anymore. So yeah, this is just gonna be it's just gonna be disastrous from now on. I think I'm just gonna keep spamming the panic darts, and there's nothing they can do. Like they've come really close to killing my men arms, but they're not gonna be able to. Also, I really just miss both of them. I guess that's fearful moments. That must be a fearful moment. Oh, look at all that stress. Look at all the juicy stress. We take those. Yeah, itty what itty. I mean, it's just the act out. Uh, it had been a lot of turns because I, I guess I afflicted her by like turn 15 or something. I, I can't remember exactly, but I afflicted her by like turn 15. Also, I have to heal, but I also have to stress heal. He still has virtue chance, but I have to heal. Preventing the death blow is more important than, uh, than preventing the affliction here. So yeah, I'm just going to spam the regen. If they bring me to Affliction, so be it. They shouldn't be able to kill me, even with even with heart attacks, because the Crusader should always be there to heal and uh, potentially save the men arms. So it's going to be really difficult for them to kill me, but th they're trying. Yeah, now I'm going to have plus stress taken. Or rather, not plus stress taken, but... Uh, oh, yeah, I will have the plus stress taken. Oh god, I'm speaking so much, my throat's starting to hurt. This usually only happens during live streams, not, not videos. But yeah, remember to hydrate. Why are they going for self heals? Oh right, the panic darts. It's just it's just too much, isn't it? I could move back, so all they hit me is uh, with is panic darts. Uh that might be the move here. Yeah, so they no longer hit me with the higher man or, or anyone else. Honestly I probably should have done that already. But yeah, we're gonna do that now. We're gonna do that now. We're just gonna move to four. Keep him alive, keep him alive in position 4, you know. There's no more vessel to, to stun my Antiquarian or anything stupid like that. Also, my Antiquarian has pressed Rejuvenating Vapors 26 turns in a row. Is this what you consider fun gameplay? Antiquarian pressing re the same button over and over and over and over and over again. Oh, I have a virtue chance. <laughs> Do I go for it? Do I go for it? Question mark. Yeah, you know what? You only YOLO once. You only YOLO once. 15%. I'm not gonna get it. I had to heal. Ah! Not abusive, though. That actually... Oh, no. No way. Wow, that's crazy, though. Look, the very first turn, 27, that I go... I'm gonna die because I don't have my Crusader turn. Oh, my God, you dumbass. That's, that's nuts. Um, wow. Wow, that's something else. Okay. So, the very first turn that I went afflicted... I, I went afflicted, so you know, 85%. Went afflicted. And then, not only did I go afflicted, I went abusive, which is one of the worst for the, for the men at arms for reasons that are, you know, uh, pretty easy to explain when there's a stunned crusader on my team. Not only did I hit the crusader, which was the only character who could save the men at arms from dying, I hit him and I stunned him, despite him having numbing incense. So, all these adding together. Makes for a very fun experience, doesn't it? Yeah, it really does. It really does. The, the, the funniest, even, I would say. But yeah, they only have a 25% chance of killing me still. Because, they, you know, they don't have pistol shot, obviously. It's, it's called awful. So yeah, they have a 25% chance of killing me with the panic darts. But I got a 25 on them with their vessel dying, so... On the self hit. All he needed was a pass, but... Yeah, they're gonna go for the 25. They get it. Uh, of course, because why wouldn't they? How much stress am I doing with a Panic Darts? It's too much, right? Yeah, it's too much. It's too much. Uh, they're just gonna die. Um, 
now it feels weird. I, I, don't, I don't know if we can still go to around 40. Because my Men-at-Arms is dead, so like the, the whole team dynamic changes with my Men-at-Arms dead. Now it's everyone for themselves, basically. Yeah. It's kind of everyone for themselves. Like, I still have regen here, right? But I don't no longer have like that, whoa, crazy prod, I meant trash. I just, I just don't have that anymore. I'm gonna wait for him to stress seal and, uh, I don't know, maybe I do something after that. I don't really know what to do here, not gonna lie. I think I'm actually gonna Shadow Fade. I, I know it looks stupid, the going Shadow Fade here, but it's actually the best move, because he has to heal himself to survive, and he's gonna heal himself up to 6 HP. After heal- oh, I don't go first anymore. Damn it. Damn it. Uh, it shouldn't matter though, it shouldn't matter, he should still be dead. Yeah, I do 6 damage with the Panic Darts, with me being at, uh, you know, that amount of thing. Think, think, think. Do I want to hit that? I don't know. I don't. I don't think so. It's fine though. It's fine. Ah! It should be fine. Do I have enough regen here that it won't matter too much? I don't think. Yeah, and I really want to get an affliction on that higher man. The only reason that higher man isn't afflicted, by the way, is because I missed that other zealous. But I, I guess I went for three zealouses and I hit two of them on him, so can't really complain all that much. Why well, I don't even have a hit chance. Well, now I do. Now I have command, but I didn't before. They're gonna go PBS. Yeah, it hurts. Okay, so if I do, s yeah, I should, I should, he should be dead here with the panic darts. Yeah, let's go for it then. Getting rid of the characters here. No way. Okay, thank God. Five to seven. That's actually crazy that we do five to seven. But okay, we we get rid of him. Sadly, that's one of. She has no pick. She has no pick. She has no pick. I just remember that she has no pick. We might actually go to a situation where I get rid of this higher man. And after getting rid of the higher man. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. We have one of those situations. Yeah, we do. Okay, how do we survive this? How do we do this then? I think the, the Antiquarian has to move back. Yeah, she has to move back for sure. I need to get that uh, average of nating vapors in. And the Crusader is just gonna go for normal heals for HP, right? I think so. Yeah, he needs HP, he needs HP here, so let's heal uh, her, actually. I need to heal her stress because she's gonna be going into panic darts, uh, into the repost. Yeah. If I get rid of this higher man, she can't do anything to me. And then I just win. It's round 30, by the way. <laughs> it's round 30. Okay, here come Panic Tarts, here comes Reach, and you know how it is. I could also be using Protect Me, just for the Prot and Dodge, but I don't think I don't think it's too wise. I think Regen is just better at this point. But yeah, they're not gonna stress me out, no. Yeah, no, no, not with not with this. It's gonna take too long. They're gonna kill me the normal way before they stress me out, but I have to kill them the normal way. So yeah, let's uh, let's up and do it then, shall we? Here comes Panic Darts, I can't miss. I have I still have the command buff. Oh no I don't! Yeah, I just have satchel. Satchel is OP. Look at that, they have no more healing, they got masochistic, so there goes their uh their dodge. Absolutely no dodge now. The reason I went for a turn first is so now I could heal her, but I mean, I guess I'm still gonna do it. <laughs> I need to delay my death for as long as humanly possible. So that's exactly what I'm gonna try and do here. Delay it for as long as humanly possible. They're gonna go for more panic darts, yeah. Uh, don't you see the writing on the wall, Agent Command? I see it. I see it. This is not good for you. They got to 25 on my men at arms, but yeah, then uh, the Crusader is gone and uh, they're dropping to this door rapidly. If this goes around 40, I definitely win. Because they're gonna drop to this door here and I still have two full HP characters. And I have a bit more HP here with the Black Diamond Mirror, so the Black Diamond Mirror is actually just huge. Ah, that sucks though. That sucks. I guess I can Shadow Fight. No, you, no, you can't. No, you can't, because then you can't regen. I guess I could PBS. I mean, uh, pick. I guess I can pick. Let's go pick then. 10 damage, not bad. I keep dodging. <laughs> How do I keep dodging? Does he not have... Yeah, I guess his accuracy is kind of meh. He's at 100 accuracy, is it? Yeah, 100 accuracy. That melee skills makes it 90, and this makes it 100. So that's really not that much. And we just heal here. Once again, they still shouldn't be able to get me afflicted. I still have Numigan since Gloria standard in the bolster, so I should be fine. But I'm not sure if regen is worth it anymore. Yeah, it's kind of the only gripe I have. Kind of the only situational 
problem that it exists right now. You know what I'm gonna go for? I'm gonna go pick. I wanna get ugh, that hurts. I wanna get rid of her him ASCP. So yeah, I'm gonna go for that. I'm gonna start going fast ring vapors now. Each each attack is a 90% hit chance, and uh, they have Oh, is that a death store actually? Crap, it is. It's okay though. It's okay, it won't matter after I kill him. Oh, he doesn't have repass anymore either. Yeah, we definitely drop a heal here. Not healing you would be the biggest mistake of my life. <laughs> yeah, it would be huge. I would uh, I would lose the match. Yeah, I would lose the match. But once again, the game plan is just to get rid of him and then the Grave Robber is the last one standing and she doesn't have pick. Even if she had pick, she'd still lose. So I guess I guess no pick enjoyer still win this match. Yeah, she, she would die anyway. So, you know, whatever. But, uh, ah, nice dodge. Could be been dicey without it. I'm gonna go... I can't go Panic Tarts, actually. Oh, nice. But I can go Festering Vapors. 90, it misses! Oh, I hate you, Antiquarian. I hate you so much. Oh, I hate you so much. I wonder if we're still gonna see the stalemate. I hope Asian Command doesn't, like, just surrender after the Higher Man dies. And then they can't do anything, you know, after Shadow Fade. I hope he doesn't surrender, because I do want to see the round 40. Like, this would be a very good surrender turn right there, but they don't do it, thankfully. Okay, we go for it. Oh, oh it's close. One more Panic Tarts, he's guaranteed gone. And then I just need to get rid of his corpse. <laughs> yeah, I just need to get rid of the corpse. They, they might get me afflicted now, though. Yeah, I don't have a Virtue Chance. Despite two anti-stress drinkers, there's no Virtue Chance. It's odd, because a Sacred Blade is not... Even though it's a Virtue Chance drink, then you kind of love Virtue Chance in a team like this. It's not something you use for your... Um, what do you call it? For these teams, you use other trinkets, like healing trinkets or anti-stress trinkets, because Virtue Chance and anti-stress don't really go too well together, because, I mean, you're, you're preventing the resolve check, but you're giving yourself Virtue Chance just in case, right? That's kind of Tears of the Lost, because it would be still good trinket, just with Restoration duration, it would still be a decent trinket, but it gives you Virtue Chance, gives you minus stress taken, which are kind of, like, opposite. But it works, you know, if it's stupid, but it works. It ain't stupid, right? That's what I've been told. Uh, should I let them get the kill? I don't think so. Yeah, they have all the trinkets. They don't need it. They don't need it. They don't need it. I'm just gonna get rid of that freaking... That freaking corpse. And then we can all rest in peace. <laughs> yeah, because she can't do anything. We see the last hero standing there. But yeah, it's a bit weird of a weird dynamic between the minus chance and the virtue chances. Especially with Inspiring Grok, is clearing stress and giving virtue chance. It's really odd. But you know, it works. It works. They're gonna go for the Shadow Fey. They're not gonna be able to... That's pretty much so the benefits of it, I must say. Because I'm just gonna go for the Panic Darts. She goes afflicted from that. From hitting a corpse. That's so BS. I, I still think that should be removed. Yeah, I still think that should be removed. Going afflicted from hitting a corpse is just dumb. Oh, because I healed, I'm actually gonna get a resolve check here. And I'm gonna go afflicted. Oh, uh, that's my bad. Unless I unless I go rejuvenating papers first, then I'll have enough HP not to not to go afflicted. Okay, good. This means I won't die, and now I can just do this. And yeah, he's fine. He's Gucci. And now the true test: hold fast or expire. Yeah, no pick, no pick. But yeah, it wouldn't have mattered in a situation like this. It would not. It would not have mattered. We're just gonna go shadow fade. I'm gonna pass with all my characters. I want to see the the stalemate. Yeah, I'm just gonna pass it all of them. I really want to see that uh, that stalemate happening. I hope Asian wants to see it too, because, I mean, if you go to this point in the match, then you, you want to see the stalemate, right? If you've already devoted, what is it, 58 minutes into a match, almost an hour, you want to see the round 40 happening. Yeah, they're passing, they're not surrendering, they're not surrendering, they want to see it. Perhaps they believe there is still hope that the game bugs out and gives them the win. I don't know. No, it shouldn't. I have more max HP. The crowd will decide. You know, the crowd of this guy trying to hang on to the... I don't know, what is this? A stagecoach? I guess this is a stagecoach. The one that the shield breaker was on. Uh, is her nightmare actually true? Yeah, yeah, I think it is. It's like she managed to escape from the Vizier or something. She got... Oh, spoilers, by the way. Spoilers. I think she got stuck on a rock with her... Her arm was there, or her hand was there, and then the snake bit it off after this after this freaking event went down. No, 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 okay, that's rough. What are you doing? If you pass three times, you'll surrender normally. 
if you pass three times, you'll surrender normally. We won't see the freaking uh, freaking stalemate. But yeah, and then the snake or the viper, I, I can't, can't remember what it was, bit her hand off, and then she managed to, you know, go away free. No, just pass, please. <laughs> no! You're gonna, you're, you're not gonna see the stalemate! You bozo! We didn't see the stalemate! Do they think I'm toying with them? I'm not, I'm not toying with you. I just really want to see the stalemate at round 40. I really want to see it. Maybe they don't know that uh, if you, if this happens like three turns in a row, like you just let it pass three turns in a row, you automatically surrender. Maybe they don't know. They probably don't. Don't seem like it. But yeah, it's gonna be round 40. You can still act round 40. I, th I think we're gonna, I think they're gonna automatically surrender just before the big moment. It's actually crazy. Yeah. They're gonna surrender just before the big moment. Oh my god, come on, it's almost there, we're almost there, I wanna see it. It would appear that the buffoon is flummoxed. We're so close to the stalemate. I need it, I need it. As the background shines on. These aren't actually like the color grades for the Shieldbreaker Nightmare, by the way. This, these are the Blasted Heath color grades. So I just they, they were easily accessible to me, so I just put them on and, and thought, ah, you know, it, it, looks, it looks even better than the usual Shieldbreaker one. So I, I have the Blasted Heath color grade. No, it's an automatic surrender. No, 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 no. Come on, no, don't do it. <laughs> no, we don't get to see the stalemate. God. Damn it! I shouldn't have won the match so quickly. <laughs> so quickly, he says, one hour later. But yeah, let's go for match number two, right? <laughs> but yeah, if you want to play the veteran's tortoise, do this. Give him two dodge trinkets. And uh, it's basically the same idea, except you use command buffs every now and then, then you go Hans Harry and, uh, and Zealous. It works. You know, it's a very, very cool team. Uh, it has some problems, obviously, like Puncture kind of nullifies the whole idea of the team and all that, but you know, I can still do do well against it. But yeah, the team that I had, honestly, not that great. Not that great with the Grave Rower. It was interesting, but not that good. But if you bring the Doggy, then yeah, they can't kill the Men Arms because then there's just guard. And then the Doggy gets focused on, which you won't because he has 92 dodge, but if he does get focused on, then you guard him. <laughs> Yeah, it's just complete BS if you find yourself in a situation like, like that. But yeah, anyway, hope you all enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you again another time. Cheers.